you ever watch the guys on like uh, uh, the football games and stuff when they're yeah they're talking to they're, oh, they're right on top of each other what Chris up? Collinsworth Al <laughs> yeah. Michaels yeah they are touching each other we so. are uh, we're recording oh, Trey Gigas hey what's happening technical director for Ivory Star Productions yes. met this guy here at uh, at the D it's been now uh, three years something uh, like that yeah how long have you been in Vegas now you're from California originally I am and you've been running shows here in town for how long. Here in town, I've been here 20 years. Damn. Doing shows, yeah. Doing this stuff. Yep. Marriage All this stuff. murder for 20 years. All the other stuff. You with the uh, you travel with uh, Defending the Caveman, also the Clairvoyants, yep. who won America's Got Talent. Is that correct? They came in second. Came in second. <laughs> they did their best. They did their <laughs> So the So the they, first place people close. didn't want you. Yeah, well, no. How oh, hurtful. So, so, the play, <laughs> so plan no, B was like, the goddamn throw over Roy. The on that one. Gotcha. Yes. <laughs> she didn't want me. Now, you got to be a you got to be a freak to win that show, and they're not freaks, so yeah. they had they had no chance. They had a, yeah, they have they a had, real good act that could have been better, yeah. but they but they didn't get it, and yeah. they should have won. Yeah, I agree. You've been in this town twenty years doing shows. What is the most bizarre thing that you have seen working behind the scenes in all these productions? Well, let's see. There's a couple, uh, most bizarre, let's see. A couple things come to mind. One was uh, we had a we had a show here with the girls dancing, and she, there's a girl that had Oh, the burlesque go, yeah, show. Yeah, it was a burlesque show. She had to go rack, up. Rack and roll, rack, was that it? Oh, yeah, rack and roll. Loved it. But <laughs> the point being that there was a dancing part where she had to uh, get on this spinning rope thing. Right. And literally went up there. Got on the spinning rope, did her normal routine, and then just dropped and hit the ground and laid there like she was dead. I went, and I didn't know what to do. So I went to blackout, and I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Because I got two. So was she the only one on stage? Yeah, she only by herself. The room's and, packed. And, the room's packed. 200 people. And I have a zillion freaking lighting cues and all these things to do, and I go, I, I don't have time to go up there and try to, like, so someone else ended up saving her, but she hit the ground and just jacked. That was one of the. That was probably one. So of you the had a potential ones. dead burlesque yeah. dancer. Yeah, and that, that yeah, exactly. And, and let me give you another death. That was the other thing. The other most bizarre one would probably be uh, in Marriage Can Be Murder, where we have people die all the time. Mm -hmm. There was actually a guy that we had who's supposed to die in the center of the room, die, and he hits the ground so damn hard turns out he actually like almost died he was out cold and everybody i mean dead it was that that was bizarre that was an actual we actually had a death wow. a murder yeah they pulled him off someone and, got murdered and they and they actually they revived him so that was a crazy one what uh what's your favorite show that you've done here in vegas oh, I, I, I gotta tell you the uh everybody thinks it would be the burlesque show it's not yeah it's, it's actually uh it's actually funny enough. You would think it would be, but you know what's funny is it's actually the uh, Aussie Heat or Aussie Hunks at the time. The guys. Oh, the uh, the mail review. Yeah, the mail review. These guys come in like a thunder from down under. Right, but not. Yeah, but so, they're different. Oh yeah, but these guys come in and they were absolutely a blast because you know why? It's, the actual crowd is way better. They're, well, yeah, it's a bunch of insane, horny women. Yeah, exactly. All the women are having a blast. Oh, my gosh. It's so different with the uh, the burlesque show. It sucked because the guys would all just sit there. Oh, yeah. And they're just sitting there boring. Well, they sit there, and it's it's almost a little it's bit creepy. creepy. It's creepy. Yeah. So the the, the, the that was easily the my The women lose show. their mind. And the beauty was we'd be able to Did just Did you ever get oiled up at all? Did you? Not so much me. Although they did ask me to come up, you know. I mean, well, I don't blame you. Know. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah, well, there you Why go. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> because, one, no, they, they were, uh, they had, uh, like, really good dancers. They were really great. The beauty was that the girls have so much fun. The crowd sucked right. for the other one. That crowd, the girls are having so much fun. Mm -hmm. And then we go to the bar after, and we would swim in their wake. Because, oh yeah! Oh man, we go to I'm the bar sure and all the guys, all the girls come up. Oh god, yeah, you were so great and this and that. And I'm just like behind them, going, "Hey, what's up?" And there, there would literally be <laughs> girls come up. And they, I had a girl came up one night. Just she like puts her hand on my butt. She goes, "I love that move you did." I was like, "Yeah, it's kind of my signature move." I was like, "She doesn't know." They she. must have been dying. Yeah, she had no clue I was a sound guy. What's well, a Vegas crowd? <laughs> They're completely hammered. They're having a blast. They yeah. could care less. Oh, it's beautiful. Like, oh my, it's. 
Oh, that that was easily my favorite show for sure. And, and, and did uh, you fake an Aussie accent then at least? <laughs> I would absolutely. Did you really? Absolutely. <laughs> so, Give me your best Aussie uh, accent believe, right now. now <laughs> Oh, you know, mate, it's, it's fantastic that you would come. No, no, that's that sounds more English, but I would I would used to be able to do uh, Adam Barr, who is a great guy. Uh, mm -hmm. He I could do his uh, accent so much when he's around, but for some reason I can't do it on my own. But anyway, I would swim in their wake. It was beautiful. We would absolutely just come down. All the girls are just like, oh, this is the greatest thing. Oh and, yeah, and we looked like we were geniuses, like we were part of the show. But. uh what were you going to say? You were, you were, oh, I was going to say about the burlesque show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That show, that was actually kind of fun. It was completely interesting. I had 212 lighting cues plus a bunch of DVDs. That show was actually a lot of fun. And everybody goes, well, did, didn't you like that more than the guy's show? I'm like, no. That For one, trying to do that show was actually, it's hard. Try doing the show with one hand. Right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> this no. really makes me not want to ever go in the sound booth ever again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's don't, disgusting. Well, my point being, don't look underneath the. the oh, I'm yeah. just saying. I'm, I'm being honest. No, but yeah, that show was that was fun. It was fun for the first week, and then it was just like uh, same boobs. Yeah, yeah, you know, it just gets old. But that was the same show that that girl that felt so bad. That girl fell. That was one of the oddest things ever because we all didn't know what to do. And the thing broke, literally just snapped. Well, I love the fact that your like your um, loyalty to your job, yeah, superseded actually helping this girl who was no, potentially no, no. dead on stage. She's on stage, and I just go, "Well, I got to make sure the lighting's right." <laughs> yeah, so I was just, you don't want to die. Go. Yeah, yeah, you don't exactly. want to die in bad lighting. I have two hundred and twelve sound lighting cues. I have to make sure it get right. What? Well, I knew a guy came out to get her, but I. I felt bad. I actually didn't know if she was hurt or not, but she ended up actually being a little bit hurt. So, What do people not know about Vegas? Everybody sees the the glitz and the glamour and the lights and everything. From somebody who's been behind the scenes in this town for so long, what do people not know about this town? Uh, you know what? I don't, I, I, that's, a, that's a good question. I would say that uh, one of the main things I think most people talk about is the fact that there's like that people live here. That's the only thing I can think of is that there's actually a we have an absolute real community and people that live here. Yeah, we have grocery stores. We have the, exactly. We it's, have it's, banks. We have right. strip malls and right. stuff like that. Yeah, people and, seem to think yeah when they see, yeah when they say here you live in Vegas they're like oh, you yeah. live in Vegas. I'm like, yeah, I don't live in the lobby at the MGM. Exactly. Most people think you're living either in like a housing unit just while you're working here, right. or something. No, there's an actual. This is you know this is uh, bigger than most. Most cities. Really. It's like a two million. Biggest, yes, two, two million over two is million the, uh, including Vegas and Vegas metro area. Oh, yeah. What would have been your dream gig to work in the past? Think uh, old Vegas. Old Vegas. What show would you have loved to uh, have been a part uh, of? That's a tough one. God damn, I don't know. Uh, you know what? The one I wanted to do when I was uh, when I first moved here was there was a MGM had EFX. Now, if you're trying to go back to... I mean, you can make it as far back as you want. I was going to say, the Candyman or all that stuff. Uh, back in the Rat Pack and such. Any, any, not for me. Any but, time frame. Really? Yeah, no, I would say... Rat yeah. Pack would not have been for you. No, I mean, of course I would have done it. I'm just not, Don't get me wrong, but that's not like my... You'd much rather have, like, Greek I would have Australian loved, guys yeah, big, as opposed to Frank Dean and Sammy. Big fan. All right, easy. Big fan. Easy. I, <laughs> no, yeah. I, I mean, uh, I found... Uh, I would love to have done a show called EFX uh, that was at the MGM mm -hmm. and was there for about a year. And But other than that, yeah, the the, uh, the Aussie hunks were awesome. Well, they didn't have you. That's why it only lasted a year. Yeah, there you go. And Very. it was a really cool show. It was really brilliant. And I always remember saying, oh, man, I would love to do that. In fact, now, if you were to push forward as far as a, a show I'd like to uh, – not a show, but uh, a gig I'd like right now in Vegas would be the T-Mobile. The, oh, working for like the Knights or the, the Knights. Uh, doing there you go, the, the Golden doing, Knights. Oh, being the sound guy for that would sure. be Sure. Oh, that would be brilliant because I know I can add stuff to it. Well, and you're a monster, you're a huge sports fan, you're a monster yep. Raiders fan. Yep. Raiders are moving here next year. Now, so uh, final question What's go. the over under on stadium arrests the first year <laughs> in Vegas once your crew of criminals comes here to town? Jesus. Let's see. Uh, first year. First year. stadium arrests. Stadium arrests. Yes. Oh, Jesus. For just Raiders games. Just give me an over-under, and then we'll see how the numbers shake out next year. All right. 
62. 62. <laughs> I like that. Troy Geigas, if you see a show in Vegas and it's going amazing, it's probably because this knucklehead's back there behind the soundboard running the sound and lights of 200 old music cues. And if a lady collapses on stage, don't look to him to help her out. Well, he might. I watched it. <laughs> You're awesome, dude. <laughs>